Alright guys, welcome to Forms Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez and in today's video, it's the most awaited video. People have been commenting, uh, you guys want the update on the Air 10. A lot of things have changed. Uh, so let's just get right to it guys. I'm going to make shorter videos. Uh, no more fancy intros with the uh, music and all that stuff. So this is going to go down to the nitty gritty. Uh, make these videos short and sweet. Um, the last time we did a video on this, the it was a 308 20 inch. Uh, with the T-Box barrel. Now the T-Box barrel guys shot phenomenal. It was like a three-quarter inch gun with um, Military reject ammo. That's that XM 118 LR ammo that, that's military reject um, It shot really well. I'm pretty sure I got it half a minute or um, Smaller with hand loads. I just didn't want to hand load for 308 so what happened to that setup? All right. So basically, I went to a match. My 6.5 Creedmoor. I was having some issues with my ammo. I swapped over to this gun for the rest of the match, and realized that I don't like 308 anymore, and I don't ever want to shoot 308 ever again. So I immediately came home. That was a Saturday, Sunday. Found this barrel, Optics Planet. Uh, it's a Ballistic Advantage 22 inch uh, barrel, non-fluted. I uh, found it on Optics Planet for like. 217 plus I had like an extra percent um, an extra 7% uh, discount code because whenever you leave a review on a product they send you a 7% uh, discount code so just so you guys know um, so I got an extra 7% off of that so bought that bought the gas block and here we have what we have all right a few things that have changed all right of course are the barrel the suppressor and the brake are still the same uh, the gas block uh, originally it was a Odin works but didn't really like the way that Odin works worked too much so took that off and went to a local shop here called UM Tactical down in um I believe they're in Boynton or Delray um, and got a super relative uh, gas block I love that gas block had a lot of experience with that gas block so it's 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 there it's working amazing uh, other than that another upgrade would be uh, guys I got a law folder now a lot of you guys are asking well John why'd you do that you know, guns big you're not really making it any smaller but for storage purposes I'm able to stick it in a smaller bag um, and it's kind of that's the reason why I did it for for storage purposes it's not really that I'm trying to make it more compact well I am trying to make it more compact to fit in smaller bags rather than getting the large you know 42 inch rifle ones it'll fit in a smaller one um, so that was added this is of course a generation 3 uh, another thing that I added was I really don't want to chase brass around so from Amazon I added a little uh, brass catch about 15 bucks off Amazon uh, it's pretty cool so I did that but when I did that the other one I was using a zero uh, delta mount I had to switch over to rings so that this would work because um, it was too far forward or too far back it was so I had to switch over to rings these are Badger um, extra high rings and they work great they brought it really close which is pretty good it's the way I like it um, other than that that's pretty much all of the upgrades that I've done now 6.5 I've tested this with the same load I haven't really done load development yet but what I did do is I did the testing with remember for the garden salsa video um, I'll link that somewhere up here or you guys can go look it up it's the garden salsa bolt action video I basically took that load and stuck it in this gun from a 26 inch to a 22 inch barrel I've lost about 100 feet per second on that load um, but it still shoots fine half minute of angle uh, with that load love that load gonna continue to uh, do some testing uh, with that 
and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much all the upgrades I also changed the trigger from the black air gold uh, to the standard air gold uh, just because the one the, the black air gold one is specifically designed for a PCC that's coming in a future build and um, it's not adjustable it's basically two pounds and that's where it's at uh, this is adjustable so I'm able to do that uh, other than that guys that's all of the upgrades oh and I think I switched optics I also switched optics guys um, so the optic that was on the garden salsa bolt action video it is now on the um, on this one so this is the foundation 25 I put the B17 on that rifle just because this is gonna be my primary uh, gun for matches now uh, simply because not that I don't love that rifle I do love that rifle it's just that I am currently in like second or third place in the uh, gas gun division so why not continue um, I'm not ranked in the um, in the open division so uh, I might as well just continue with what I'm ranked with and that's why I went to that uh, but I definitely love that gun and I will be shooting that gun in the future for sure um, other than that can't think of anything else that I've changed all right guys so this is the end of the video and like we did last time uh, somebody wanted if you're the first person to comment send it you will get a gas gun send it decal all right so this is actually the rifle in its previous configuration um, not in this configuration it has the b17 scope it's got the same bipod it's got the same uh, thing but this is in the previous configuration so, first person to comment, send it, gets that. Also guys, don't forget to check our Teespring store. Um, I paid a really, really good graphic designer to design, and I'll put it up here or here, uh, this design of a sniper using a, a modified M110 send it um, thing. Guys, this supports the channel, because if you guys haven't noticed or have followed the community page, uh, YouTube does not want to monetize me. Um, and it's not because I'm a gun channel. Um, it is because they are claiming that I'm reusing people's content. I don't know what that means. So um, I just reapplied to see if I can get a, um, to get, I guess, reviewed again. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just gonna keep these videos short, simple, add no music, um, keep the production value to just what it is. Um, and that's what I've always wanted it to be. I try to make it a little bit more fancy for you guys and some of you guys don't like the uh, the long uh, intros. So uh, keeping it short, keeping it sweet, that's it. Uh, also guys, we have some uh, Sended Mafia patches that are available. Um, I'll cut them into here because they're in the truck right now. Uh, I got about a hundred of those. I've sold about half of those or 15 bucks for free shipping. Um, you know, just PayPal me and I will send it out to you. We're currently working on a company called senditinc.com uh, and we're gonna bring a bunch of cool designs of hats, shirts, all that stuff's gonna be straight through us, not through our Teespring store anymore. Um, but yeah, if you wanna support us right now, Teespring, get your t-shirts and uh, that's the only way we'll be able to do these videos, guys, because this stuff costs money to test, ammo, and um, if you guys want me to test anything, right? If you guys want me to do load developments, I love doing load development, so go ahead and you know leave your comments below i also want to thank uh cletus mcfarland uh i follow his youtube channel love his uh content for you know all the car stuff um definitely go check his stuff out i know some of his subs have um subbed to this channel uh i sent him over some patches and stuff um and he gave us a shout out and thank you guys uh for all the support um he will be getting a new patch that is being designed oh, it's actually designed it's in the production phase right now I'll put a little clip it right here um, I know that picture doesn't look good but that's what they sent me to approve it once I have it in hand um, I've noticed that the picture that they sent me and the actual quality of the patch when I have it in hand is 100 times better um, so that being said that's it uh, that's all the news for the channel right now guys um, it's pretty much uh, let me know anything in the comments uh, guys please don't forget to share and like uh, I won't ever ask you to subscribe if you think my content is worthy you can subscribe um, I'll leave my PayPal and my cash app uh, below uh, if you guys would like to support uh, my reviews to keep it as 
fair as possible. I don't ever want to be bought out by a company. Um, companies will send me stuff and I will review it honestly for you guys. Uh, I, I care more about my viewerships than I care about sponsorships and all that other stuff. All right, guys. Also, I have a few promo codes below. So check those out. Those don't give me any money. Those just show those companies that support me uh, in the sense of going to matches and products and stuff like that, that um, I support them. So guys, support those companies. And thank you so much. And I hope to see you at the range. Have a match September uh, 5th. And that'll be the first match with this gun. And we'll see how that goes. All right, thank you guys. And I hope you guys have a great week.